I am all done. See you guys later. Hey! Oh my goodness, guys! It, it, it is. It, uh, I'm I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. I feel like it's been forever. It has been forever. It has been for. When's the last time I made a video for you? In the summertime of 2019, you know, <laughs> simpler times when we weren't all going to potentially die from a, uh, a pandemic and a global virus and d due to bad information from certain administrations that don't wanna give us the actual truth about what's going on and why we're holding back certain tests as to determine who is actually got this thing and how come there's no specific treatment going on. Ah, bah, you know, it's at simpler times. What is going on guys? Uh, I'm back for now. For a little bit, um, because uh, being that there is currently a, a global pandemic happening, everyone is in uh, self-quarantine, or you should be in self-quarantine, social distancing, that's the name of the game, but uh, US 101, back! I just wanted to check in with you guys, say hey, how's it going, how you been, um, what have I been up to? Well, uh, <laughs> a lot. Actually, so the last video that I made, I told you guys I was going to step away from US 101 because I had one more semester of classwork and then I also wanted to make sure that I studied and, uh, and did what I needed to do to make sure I passed my, uh, my comprehensive exams, my master's exams uh, at the end of the previous semester because if I pass those exams, then I get to graduate with a master's degree in American history and I am proud to report your boy passed all his exams, I am done with the classwork aspect of, of my master's program. And right now, I am currently involved in the final semester of my master's program, which is just student teaching. I started student teaching end of January uh, at a school here in Chicago. I'm teaching civics, me. I'm teaching kids how to be good citizens and how to participate in a democracy and how to get involved in a democracy if they're still too young to vote and the numerous ways that you can get involved in your communities and get involved and just get out in the streets and, you know, cause some trouble in a, in a civic manner. But here in Illinois, uh, last week, the, uh, the governor, J.B. Pritzker, officially shut down all the schools in Illinois. And uh, so for the next two weeks, uh, I am uh, away from the school. All the schools are closed. They're closing until at least March 30th, so I can't go um, There's because there's going to be no students for me to teach. Um, so I'm just going to be working on uh, the paperwork that I need to finish to obtain my teacher's license, which is the other thing I need to work on. Um, so it'll give me time to do that. And then also I figured, well, you know what? I got some time, at least two weeks. Let me check in with my people and just say hello and it hasn't been a while so you know I just wanted to say hi and the fact that uh, later this week there's going to be a brand new episode of US 101 and I figure you know what we're, we, we're dealing with a global pandemic looking at it looking at a virus so why not talk about a virus that hit back in the early 20th century specifically a city in the United States that got hit hard with a with a with a virus, specifically the Spanish flu, and uh, and what happened uh, to that city uh, once the uh, the virus hit and hit in a big big way. So you guys are going to be seeing that episode later this week. I'm thinking, let's aim for Wednesday. Wednesday, that episode will be up for you guys to check out. And also to all the teachers out there that uh, your schools have been shut down and you want to, you know, give something for your students to do while they're away to keep them educated and keep them up to date and stuff. Feel free to check out all the episodes of US 101. There's a library of over 100 videos talking about all different parts of, of American history. There are some videos that have to deal with civics. And if there's anything that uh, you think is relevant for your, uh, for your students to check out and you think it's applicable to the lessons that you're trying to give them uh, while we're away and trying to make sure that we can beat this thing, um, yeah, use those videos, man. So that being said, guys, I cannot tell you 
how happy I am, how thrilled I am to be back and to be making uh, a brand new video for you guys this week. Again, it's going to come out on Wednesday. I'm going to start writing the script. I'll be filming over the next two days, filming and editing, and then I'll put it out on Wednesday for you guys to check out. Hopefully you enjoy it. Until then, as always, I am all done. Uh, I got a script to write. Please stay safe. Stay healthy. Uh, wash your hands. Stay away from crowds. Uh, stay away from people that are sick. And if you yourself are sick, seek medical attention, please. Let's everybody, let's stay safe. Let's stay strong together because we're going to get through this together. It's going to suck for a little bit. But if we all pitch in together, we are going to get through this. And we are going to be hopefully laughing about this uh, in, in a few months' time. So, yeah. Take care, guys. I'll see you on Wednesday.